Hi guys, Nemo Dane here. Had a request to put the video up on this for putting the free compass into the MMO kit. The first one I did didn't come out too well. The volume was borked up. So I've got that fixed now. So I'm going to have to remake the video. Shout out to Tarly. This is for him. I right, Basically what you want to do is go up to the site. I've got a link in the video below. I'm going to download uh, the RAR version of the compass. I'm using his second link here. He says it's tested with 410. I have tested with 411. It does work. So go ahead and download that, unzip it, uh, wherever you put it is fine, and then uh, drag it over into your Unreal projects, that's usually what I do, and then we're going to open it up inside of uh, the Unreal editor itself, the first one, and then we'll port it over. So once you got it in your Unreal projects, wherever that's at, just go down in uh, to control panel for Unreal, uh, find it, and let's open it up. Here's the compass. It's going to open up pretty quick because it's uh, pretty small, not a whole lot to it. Once that's open, uh, go ahead and give it a test, make sure it works so that everything's good. You can see the compass there, press G, and that's pretty much all that's to it. Alright, so we know it works. So we're going to migrate. So right click compass, migrate. Let's send it on over. We're going to look for your project. Uh, start you uh, wherever you put your project you're going to put it in I have made a special build too there we go and content and just port that on over alright that was successful now we're going to jump over into that project here it is and there's compass going to jump back over uh, to the other project the compass uh, what as you can see here he has loaded it to the first person blueprint so here's the project I simply uh, went over to first person character opened up the blueprint and that's that's where he's doing the call right here press G and this is going to open up the compass and the other is simply just the widget all right we can reduce that out hop back over hop back over into the main project uh, let's just take a look at the uh, documentation that covers on what's going on uh, I, if you read over these they tell you what each one of these do uh, looks like probably MMO player controller that's what we want to put it in notice right here it's going to affect different game windows inventory settings etc etc we're going to be making this an open and uh, using the G button to open it and draggable so uh, we're going to go to the MM player controller drag that back out of the way so let's go down in MMO let's go down in blueprints and let's look for MMO player controller. Let's go ahead and open that up. We'll drag that up into the tab. And as we scroll around, you can see this is where a lot of the function is put for the keys. You can see there's the I key, the B key, the escape key. So this is going to be a good spot. We're going to implement uh, the compass being called right in here. All right, let's go back over to the main project. Leave that tab open. And let's go down into blueprints. Let's go ahead and open up user interface. You can see several of these blueprints that uh, Code Spartan has provided for us that that's going to help us out. We want to open up the full UI, so go ahead and double click that and open it up. As you can see here, here's where a lot of the function uh, of the windows that are pulled open into the game. We have the equipment, the container, etc., etc. Uh, I'm going to use the ability window as an example to uh, pull the compass in. And what we need to do now is let's go find the actual one. So go back over here into the project folder. And right there, abilities. And there's the abilities window. So let's open that up. Just double click it. So this is the abilities window. This is what we're going to use for our example. I'm going to slide it over and this is called to the full UI in here you can see right there there's the uh, abilities window you can also uh, gain access to it by hitting the edit abilities windows which would open that so now let's open up the canvas widget let's go back over to your project folder look for compass compass heads up widget right there in the top let's double click to open that and it's simply just two images. I'm just going to slide that to the front for me. 
Uh, what we're going to do now, we're just going to build on top of this uh, to make it look like abilities window and then we'll just pull it in the full UI. So as we can see right here starting with abilities windows, it's in a canvas screen, in the canvas, here's the canvas, the green outline, and then it's inside of a draggable window. So let's go back to compass, there's the compass, and there's the control panel that's all the way around it. Now we want to get a draggable window on top of that. So let's come up here inside the palette and type draggable window. Just grab that, left click and hold, bring it down, drop it right on top of canvas. And if you see the little drop down menu right here, or drop down arrow, and then it has a content slot. Let's go back over to our example, abilities window. There's the content slot, and then now we need a canvas panel below that. So let's go back to the compass HUD. Let's clear the box. Alright, we need a compass. Sorry, what did I say? Canvas panel. Alright, so we're going to type canvas. There's canvas panel. Same thing, left click and drag. Let's drop it right there on the content slot. Alright, there's a heart. Draggable window, content slot, canvas. Just reference this if you get lost. Content slot, canvas. They're using a horizontal bar because uh, it needs web, uh, item slots, but we're not going to be using the horizontal ball, bar. Alright, back over on the HUD of the, can uh, of the compass. Now let's go ahead and just drag these images right onto the canvas panel. There's one. And there's two. And of course you look in the screen now and it's all conglomerated. You can't see nothing. You're like, it's gone. Where did you go? Uh, let's trace it down. So I usually just, it'll just come from the top. There's the canvas. Draggable window. It has scrunched up. Let's grab that right there. And let's just drag it out. Based off the size of the compass. That, uh, this may be a little big. You you can resize the image and uh, whatever editing you, if you want to make it done to this, that'll, you know, that'll be up to you. Uh, but now we have it exposed. All right, I'm just going to position it down here, maybe in the lower left-hand corner, so when it opens up, uh, we'll see it right there. Let's go ahead and compile this and save it. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is get over into the full UI, and we're going to integrate it over here. All right, let's, we're going to incorporate the compass now. Come up here into the palettes window should be down at the bottom. You have to scroll this bar down just a little bit. I can probably drag this down. Make sure. Or you can drag that down. Uh, under user created, hit the drop down. Scroll down some more. And we're going to look for the compass HUD. Right there's the compass HUD. Simply left click and hold. Let's drag it down. Drop it right on the canvas panel. And there it is inside the game. Once again it's all squished and we can't see it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the reference of the abilities window for setting it up. So if you see right here it's already it's got size and it's it's set to the anchors wrong. So let's go back and look at this so everything's zeroed out. Come down to the HUD. Zero this out. Now let's go back in the abilities window. We're gonna drop the anchors button right here. Click on the little anchors button. The minimum is zero zero and the maximum is one one. So go back to the compass HUD. The anchors is already open because we opened it in the previous window. So we're at minimum, zero, zero. Then we're going to type one here and one there. Now let's look back at the abilities window. There's no offset, so all that is zeroed out. Come back to the compass. So you can see we have an offset that's set here. Let's take that out. Let's type a zero, zero. And there's where we have the, the compass down in the lower left hand corner. I presume that's just scaling it to the full scale, scale of the screen. That's what we've done, a one to one scale. And then of course if you wanted to move it, you could go back to the other window, the compass head and the HUD and then move it over. Alright, with that done, let's go ahead and compile and save. All right, the next part is we're going to have to get it inside the player controller. We're going to use this to call it the activation. Uh, and that one is the G key. So we're basically going to have a G key, and that's going to cause the event to handle. If you go back over and look inside of his, um, the blueprint, it's based off the first person character. 
but this is what calls it pressing the G key. I'm just going to grab this real quick, control C. Um, we're not going to use this, but I want to grab it. This is how he tells you to do it, but I'm going I'm to go ahead and follow through what he has just uh, to do it. Then we bring this back over here and then control V. Um, this is a little messy. We want to kind of clean it up. What we want to do is we want to follow the example of uh, what we already have existing in the game. So let's make us a, a comment window. Uh, hold your left click right here. Hit C. Oh, well, there it was. Hit C to pull up the comment window. See if I can get that out of there. And it's probably going to have all that stuck to it now. Let me just grab these real quick and drag them out. Resize the comment window. Essentially, we're going to try and copy that above us. Uh, we know it's the G key, so go ahead and uh, type in there what you want to say. I'm just going to say G key toggle compass window, following that example. All right, now that that's made, let's just pull this over a little bit so we can see it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this G since it's already in here. Holding the Alt click, Alt button, and left clicking this will break the wire. Let's drag the G up, or you can just hit G. Let me pull this down while you can see. All right, so we want to copy the MMO instance, target it, get it highlighted, Control C, and then Control V. That gives us a copy. Drag that in place. Over here, we want to copy the toggle, so Control C. Control V, that'll give us a copy of the toggle. This will give us a little room where you see what's going on. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, hook up the G key. Alright, we're going to target the full widget, full UI widget. Remember, that's where we uh, have everything targeted. So let's pull off the MMO instance, uh, drag that, and type uh, full. There it is get the full UI widget. From there we want to go not to the abilities. Remember we made the new one which we copied the abilities would be the compass HUD. So we want to look for compass HUD. So from there type compass get the compass HUD. Okay. And then draggable window. So we're going to off the compass HUD. Type draggable and get draggable window. And then we're going to hook that up to the toggle for the target. Uh, now let's go back down here and look. Uh, if essentially, I guess he had that to toggle it off and on. I'm not sure exactly what he had there, but we just really don't need that. So we're going to highlight and just delete all that. Just get all that out of the way. And this is what we'll be using. You can kind of tidy this up. You notice I have a little bit of OCD. We'll bring that over. Try to get it online with that one just a little bit. All right, now let's go ahead and compile that, save it up, and that pretty much should have everything done. Let's come back over into the window, make sure I don't have it set on two because I was just testing, and let's hit play. And of course, if there's anything else you want to do to it, you can, um, but this has it in there, it's working. All right, so we have it inside, it is draggable and the needle is, is rotating away. Let's try the G key. G is off. G is back. G is off. G is back. So that is working. Alright, there it is. Um, like I said, any more edits you'll just have to go down into the compass HUD right there. Let's, let me stop this. Anything else you wanted to uh, change here, you know, you can have the palette here. Uh, there's plenty of videos up there to tell you how you want if you wanted to maybe put a, a background or a title or, or reduce the size and that'll fix that up and then it'll automatically feed in here. You just should have to update this one, update this window only, the com HUD, and then uh, recompile it and that has everything going. You might want to do a re, uh, folder redirect or you can just leave it up there, bring down an error, whatever you want to do. That's totally up to you. And there's the compass. We now have it in the game. is working. I hope that uh, helps anybody that wants to use it. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them below or up on the forum. We'll be more likely to get a quicker response. I apologize for the vis first video with the low volume, and I hope this helps anybody that needs it. All right, this is Nemo for now. We'll be going, and we'll talk with you later. All right, bye.